My name is Patrick Bias, and I'm an actor and a filmmaker. What you're watching right now is some of the work that I've been in and some of the work that I've created. I've decided that I want to show people what I'm actually doing on a daily basis while pursuing my dreams and balancing my life. You're going to see me at my low. You're going to see me at my very best. But I'm not going to hide anything. Instead, I'm going to show you my reality. This is Balancing Bias. What up, yo? What's up? <laughs> All right, so today I had a little, I had a busy day. I uh, started the day off by editing, editing uh, the new Get Better Together Challenge video. I had posted up, posted it up online. So it took a little bit of, it took some hours to actually get done, which I, I knew was going to take a little while, but I didn't know it was going to take that long. But then again, I'm, I'm tedious about you know the, the little, the little small things in it. So I just had to make sure that it was okay. Like I said, I'm going to stay dedicated pushing out these projects because I hope that. You know, it would push people or hopefully inspire people to actually, you know, live a healthier lifestyle and continue to, you know, to get better and bring out the very best in themselves. Because, you know, I used to be 287 pounds and I realized that, you know, my life feels a little bit better and I have a little more confidence since I lost all of that weight. So right now I'm actually on my way to New York City. I have an audition that I'm about to go uh, take care of. I'm, I'm on this new TV show called The Jack and Triumph Show. I'm gonna be on it. And this is the biggest role that I've ever had on a television show so far. So I'm hoping that I did a very good job and I hope that you know people will actually laugh from it and you know I put my all into the character. So I hope it, you know, it does, I hope it goes pretty well. It was fun to actually be on the show with Jack McBrayer, June Squibb, and trying the comic dog who's a big clown and a jerk to people. <laughs> Triumph got a mouth on him. But you know, that was pretty cool. And so I'm gonna meet up with my family later on and you know, watch it. And then last, you know, I might go out. I'm debating on going out, stepping outside for a little bit, but it just depends on how I feel. So, all right, I'm, I'm checking out. See you later. Just got pulled over by the damn cops. Fucked around and got pulled over by the damn cops. And it was all my fault. I can't even lie, it was my fault, man. Damn, 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 damn. That's my brother, Devin, 11. Uh-uh, you're not about to put me on Snapchat, Vine, I don't know what, Instagram, I don't know. I won't put you on Snap, I don't even know what Snapchat is. Wow. But that camera work? What? That camera work? Yeah, why would it work? I ain't know how to turn it on. But you trying to film something? No, I just tried to turn it on. Oh. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's what's up. 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 Yeah, Came over here to chill with the baby boy today. And Papa. Papa coming up right now? Yeah. Oh, what are you doing in the car? Huh? What is he doing in the car? Parking it. Oh, yeah, it's not that much parking outside. When it comes on, I'm gonna cut it on. My little brother just did something with the TV that I had no idea what he did to. I don't know what these kids know about this kind of technology right now. This is just crazy. I don't know what he just did with the how he had the thing hooked up from the TV to the phone. So. <clears throat> Can't do it. I'm trying to watch the show. He playing around with his phone. His phone hooked up to the TV. Mm -hmm. Come on, cuz. Horrible young man who doesn't smell like the inside yes. of a little act. Why you gotta play balls? And Meg, when I get through with you, you're gonna be beating guys off with both hands. This is gonna be so fun. Hey, zip it. Rule number one. No speaky until the man speaky to you. Oh, it's the moment of truth. Papa's about to come on. Okay. Yeah. 
Yada, da da da, here he triumphed, he's a balloon, he's a jack and dog, hey, I did this is sad, fine, no hard feelings, Godspeed, and when you go to hell, I hope that you get the first upskirt shot of Satan. <laughs> Oh, this, this shit. Yeah, everywhere I go, people are racist. I'm covered with eggs and spit. I feel like a breakfast sandwich at Roy Rogers. That's what the old medicine ball grabbed the phone from me for. In three minutes, we're going to get the truth as to whether Tamaris is the father of Chicago's name. But first, we have an exclusive interview with Triumph Nadler and the reviled Jack Maliki. <laughs> that Junie apparently massaged Mr. Povich's prostate at the Daytime Emmy Awards after party all those years ago. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Mario. What a great crowd. You people are always so enthusiastic. You people? Like we talk back at the movie screen? That's what you say? Huh? We lousy zippers too? This motherfucker trying to say, right, no, right, no, right, no, 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 get off no, me, get off me. Now, no, wait a minute. Try it. Right? You've known this guy for almost two decades. Has he always been a hateful bigot? Oh, I oh, I wouldn't call him hateful as far as masters go. Wait, did he just call him masters? No, 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 no. He was quite friendly. He'd say, good boy, and rub my head. Hey, don't come over here, man. I'm fighting. More guys good. I bet he has a bad time. I do not think this is working. I am quite sure this isn't working. You get me out of this jam right now. Okay, hold on. I got to think. If only I could freeze time. What? What? What happened? That actually worked. Salutations, gentlemen. Oh, who's that? I think it's Albert Einstein. <laughs> or Barbara Walters before hair and makeup. <laughs> Professionally, my name is Mark Twain. Oh, from the N-word book. I came bearing advice for young Jack. Oh, yes, please. The timid man yearns for full value and demands a tenth. The bold man strikes for double and compromises on par. Does the bold man ever use an eyebrow trimmer? <laughs> Triumph. Seriously, we want advice from this guy? Hey, Doc Brown, set your flux capacitor to shower. <laughs> Can I get out my advice, please? Yes, Triumph, please, let the nice old bag lady speak. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Tweet out a picture of your dick. <laughs> It'll change the conversation. Get people to think you're insane, which is better than racist. <laughs> No way, are you crazy? But that was the first intelligent thing he said. No, I said no. My privates are private. All right, fancy pants. There's one other option. Racist! 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 Stop! Racist. Stop. Stop. Stop your booing. I have something to say. I did not use that terrible word because I meant it. I said it because I knew it would bring me here, to the Mr. Mari Povich Show. The fact of the matter is, I am in love with Chicago. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Now, now, Jack, I mean, do you know what you're saying? I mean, Chicago has been disappointed, literally, by hundreds of men. <laughs> you are the light in my eye, Miss Chicago. I love you. May I kiss you, Miss Chicago? No, 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 That's some gentleman s**t. Put a ring on it. Oh, you want that? Put a ring on it, ho. Go get that s**t. That's what I'm talking about. Watch it, just can't be, man. Watch it. Oh, see, now, if I was racist, would I have done that? Put a ring on it, play it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, Jack, Jack. If yeah. you love her, what he is saying is... Back that shit on up! Uh, it's what Twain would have wanted. Uh, <laughs> Miss Chicago, will you marry me? Yes, I will, Ooh. white mob.
Please watch some of our previous videos. Also like, share, and subscribe.